Hello, and welcome to Ameliorate. Uh, this is going to be a lengthier, more realistic and detailed demo of the tool. If you want a quick version, check out the video linked in the description. Uh, the tool is still a prototype, but the core concepts should remain relatively intact. I would love to hear any feedback you have, uh, but I will be throwing a couple notes on the screen to acknowledge some issues I'm aware of and or ideas I have for improving things. You'll probably have to pause the video if you want to read these. Without further ado, let's get to the demo. OK, so we're going to use an example problem uh, where cars are going too fast on your street. Uh, Mom, thanks for the idea. Uh, you've got you know, young kids, and you're concerned about them getting hit. Um, you want to go to the city council and request some change to keep your kids safe. But it's not necessarily an easy problem to solve. So you want to make sure the pieces are considered well. And so you use Mealy rates to prepare. So what we've done so far is represent the problem as a node. Uh, we can then score this node to say how important we think this problem is. I think that cars going too fast in my neighborhood is an important problem because I care for my children. So I'll score it as a nine. <laughs> Secondly, implications can be independently justified and critiqued. So here I'm going to add a claim to justify uh, why I think this is important. And I'll say because little kids live here. So uh, it seems like a decent reason. So this is kind of the core idea of Ameliorate, putting the information into nodes and edges and being able to precisely score and critique these. But let's make this a little more interesting by adding some more information. Maybe we can brainstorm some ways to address the problem. So I happen to know that um, our street ha is going downhill and there's no uh, stoplight or stop sign at the bottom of the hill where there's an intersection. So cars just go right on through. So I think one solution would be to add a stoplight. And I also mentioned the stop sign, so we're just going to have a couple options here. Brainstorming away. I think we could also add like a speed bump. Let's try that. And maybe uh, instead of going the route of uh, stopping at the intersection, maybe we could have like a kids at play sign. Um, and we could score these by importance. Personally, I feel like a speed bump might be easiest, uh, so I'm going to give that a high score just because, you know, maybe we could get like a plastic or a rubber speed bump and just like lay it down. Stoplight seems kind of like overkill, to be honest, um, but might get the job done. Stop sign would be easier to place. Seems like it would get the job done, be cheaper to do. And a kids at play sign, I feel like uh, people may not respect that, but it might be good for conveying uh, the reason for slowing down here. <laughs> Notably, we could score the edges here instead of the nodes. The distinction is that you think the solution is important independently of the problem. So in this case, you'd be conveying that this kids at play sign uh, may be good, but not for this problem. So maybe there's another problem not mapped here. We could add and that we could show that it's good for. But we don't care to make the distinction right now, so we're just going to undo those. So we mentioned some justification for our scores, but instead of justifying these independently, we can also use criteria so that the solutions can be more clearly compared. So we'll add some criteria um, to say that the solution is good if it's inexpensive. We mentioned cost of stop light. Um, we can add criteria to say uh, it's good if it conveys reasoning to slow down. That was why the kids at play sign was good. And then maybe like uh, actually getting the cars to slow down is another criteria because the stop light, stop sign, speed bump are all like actually uh, by law, you know, people obey the law more than the guilt of uh, the kids at play sign. And we can score these criteria 
I think it's most important to actually get the cart to slow down. I think it's kind of important. Maybe it could be useful to convey the reasoning for slowing down. And I think the, the city council will care about the cost. So we're going to score the importance like that. And you can see that this is a, a little cluttered. We do automatically connect each criteria to each solution to enable the comparisons. We can hide the criteria um, to make it easier to look at. But if we actually want to look at the criteria themselves, for the comparisons, we can view the criteria table here. We'll transpose that. So this just kind of uh, helps better visualize these comparisons. And I can quickly score uh, the solutions across each of these criteria. So stoplight, I think, is kind of expensive. So we're not going to say it's inexpensive. Stop sign seems kind of cheap. Speed bump, you know, if we use like a plastic speed bump, I feel like that's, you know, uh, easy to lay down. Kids at play sign seems about the same as stop sign. Main reason to slow down, none of these really seem to do that, but the kids at play sign does. Actually getting cars to slow down, I don't know, maybe the kids at play kind of does, but all these kind of seem pretty good at doing that. So now we've got a solid start on the mapping of this information. I think we're ready to present to the city council and get some feedback and make some improvements to the mapping. So you get in there, you uh, skim over it. I think that this is a problem. I think a speed bump would be best. Uh, what do you think? Immediately, the civil engineer says, well, we measured traffic years ago and this wasn't a problem then. So we will add a critique here to the cars going too fast in the neighborhood being important. Well, you see cars zipping by all the time. So we will say that. And maybe the gentrification beyond the bottom of the hill has caused people to zoom onwards where they wouldn't before. So I think that could be a good critique of the critique. All right, great. Well, uh, the group seems fine with agreeing that this is a problem now. Well, the engineer speaks up again. Actually, I think the speed bump is a good idea, but this road is a thoroughfare for emergency vehicles, so I don't think we should go that route. So we can add a critique here, speed bump. It's score to convey that, you know, I actually I think that's not a not the best option anymore because of this kind of big deal. All right, well, looks like there's no more being said. Uh judging by these answers, you know, it seems like stop sign's way to go. And now, not only have we clearly conveyed our ideas, but now we have this document that we can return to at any time and easily enhance it further based on any new information. Great. Well, I think that gets enough of the point across. Now I'd like to speed through some more auxiliary features I've been playing with, uh, just to show a little bit more of what can be done with the tool. So you can uh, download and upload maps. Um, this is currently the only way to share maps uh, asynchronously because there's no backend yet. So we can show this by downloading and using the reset button. Um, it's re-uploading that. Boom. Uh, you can also undo and redo. We showed the reset button. Uh, for the next two, we'll see the examples. We've got a couple examples to uh, just kind of like show what other maps might look like. Here you can see the two other node types, which are uh, solution components and uh, effects. They feel a little wonky right now, like they need to go through some refinement, uh, but these can be used to further detail a solution. For example here, we're looking at a mapping of a capitalism versus socialism debate, and we can see a component of true capitalism is no social support, and the slightly controversial effect of allowing people who can't sustain themselves to die off. These nodes allow you to call something like this out um, and 
so you can easily discuss it independently. Also notice some faded background edges here. These are implied edges that I'm experimenting with. For example, if a solution is connected to a criteria, uh, this solution problem edge is implied because that criteria is also uh, you know, for that specific problem. These edges can be hidden with this button and they don't affect the layout and aren't considered implied if they're scored or critiqued. Let's see this kind of pop out if we score that. And because of this, uh, there is a recalculate layout button yeah. <laughs> to relay out if an edge becomes no longer implied. And that's about it. I plan to demo uh, with updates every month or two. And you can uh, see the blog post if you haven't uh, for kind of a high level overview of the project or future plans. Uh, and remember to leave any feedback you have. And thanks for watching.